hard gelatin capsule and the parts of capsule cap in body and this advantage that we have already covered in my previous video please go through the previous video it includes advantage and disadvantage of capsule with its different um, properties and uh, the cap hard gelatin capsule contains 12 to 16 percent of moisture typically uh, it can be filled by powder granules pellets and tablets can be filled it also contains uh, i also in my previous video it also includes the compositions of hard gelatin capsules please go through my previous two videos of capsule now manufacturing of empty shells that is also my i have covered it includes dipping spinning drying stripping trimming and joining and polishing it is the basic steps of each and every part it is first it is dipping and then it is spin and for drying it is sent to the drying and then it is strip cut and join these are the explanation that i have covered very nicely in my previous two videos after trimming and joining and also size of different capsules it ranges between 5 to triple zero this is also available in my previous in my previous videos now today we are going to continue with filling of hard gelatin capsule it consists of the hand operated capsule machine or fine tuna filling machines now various filling machines are available for the hard gelatin with different companies LL, Farmatic, Hofflinger, Jensen, Parkes, Davis now all these diff machines are different in the designs and outputs now basically on, in the lab scale we are going to use hand operated gelatin capsule filling machines it contains a bed with 200 to 300 holes capsule loading tray powder filling tray pin plate having muscle 200 to 300 pins which with similar to the number of holes in the bed and cap holding tray lever handle cam handle and plated fitted with the rubber top now in the, in the filling there are basic steps first is rectification separation uh, of the cap and body filling the body scrapping the excess powder and then replace the cap seal the capsules and killing from the outside of, uh, outside of the filled capsules 160,000 capsules per 8 hours can be filled by this now in the rectification notice rectification so it is a separation orientation of your cap and body always body and downwards when we are going to load the capsules hard gelatin empty capsules they, they are arranged randomly so in the rectification they are orient similarly body and downwards so capsule mass one at a time through the channel just wide enough to provide grip at the cap end and then body aligns downward and with, which enter into the channel first and then separation of cap from the body the rectified capsules are delivered body end first into the upper portion of the machines or splitting the rings it is there vacuum is applied from below pulls the body down it will pull the body down and split the your cap and body and the diameter of the bush is too large to allow them to follow the body and the bo body and this is rings is separated out so it separates cup your cap and the body now the filling of powder into the formulations it can be done by bench or industrial scale now the basic method for filling of the powder it is very important these are the important technique that you have to mention during exam first is auger screw method it is dependent dosing and the capsule body directly measures the powder and the next two techniques are independent dosing techniques dosator and tamping finger and dosing disc and here the powder is measured in special measuring devices and in the organ it is not measured depending upon the rotation of screw it is send it in capsule filling now first is auger which is semi-automatic machine filling based on volume and it required very good flow property right 
here and uh, from the hopper we have arranged the auger it is like a screw so when it rotates the screw is rotating so it carry the like a screw conveyor it carry the material and fill the shell um, body which is down arranged downwards See? afterwards when in the dosator the fill based on weight it is a continuous process and the auger is semi automatic see in the dosator there is a presence of piston when weight is filled it is pressed with the help of piston and when it forms a block it is again slightly compressed when the powder is compressed it is in the form of a block and with the help of this block when pressure piston is given, pressure is given by piston and it removes the block in the hard gelatin body and this dosing disc or it is called as tamping pins or dosing dins disc it is dosing disc and this is a tamping pins it is based on fill weight here it is given stop view powder hopper is there and disc cavity is there and uh, in this see because of the auger mount in the hopper it rotates at a constant rate and rate of the delivery of powder tends to be constant capsule gel type machine it uses screw auger it is semi automatic vacuum is pulled from beneath the ring to separate cap and body and body ring is positioned under the foot of the powder hopper for filling after filling the body the cap and body rings are rejoined and then position in front of pins then pin push the body to engage the caps it is semi automatic and this tamping pins or it is called as vibratory fill in the in the powder the perforator plate is positioned and connected to a vibrator because of vibration it will give easy flow powder blade tends to be fluidized by the vibration of the plate and assisted the powder to flow into the body through holes into resin plate these are the jansi automatic capsule drilling machine and it is a flinger cut automatic now piston tamping principle now when you going to use piston tamp on dosator disc then it that is the role of tapping pins is it lightly compress the dose of the powder in the form of plug and eject the plug into empty capsule body now first is piston tamo principle a solid brass stop plate is sliding down the disc to close off the holes five sets of piston compress the powder into cavity to form a plug it consists of cylindrical dosing and movable piston the position of piston is pressed to a particular height to define the volume powder enters the open end of the dosator and is slightly compressed against the piston into plug there are machines for filling of hard gel capsule that we have already discussed after filling the cleaning and polishing of the capsule is done from outside joining of cap and body and then cleaning small amount of powder may adhere to the outside of the capsules so it can be cleaned by cloth dusting brushing or pan polishing asala kota is used to dust and polish capsule polishing machine and inspecting machine then storage packaging and stability finish capsules normally contains emc of 13 to 60 percentage less than 12 percent of moisture content is there then capsule shall become brittle if it is more than 18 percent then become then it is become soft right so it is very very important and the g point point of view also what should be the storage condition of capsule so to maintain relative humidity of 40 to 60 percentage the moisture content the capsule should be 13 to 60 percentage quality we is developed the first hvmc capsules which is pharmaceutical it is used in the pharmaceutical 
powers. Now evolution of capsule. It is evaluated for DT test, dissolution test, continuity and weight variation. Now as per our tablet, capsule was placed in the dissolution test machine for which is immersed 30 times per 30 minutes and which should, which should be dissolved within 30 minutes. Dissolution test is same as tablets. Weight variation very very important 10 capsules are taken and average uh, is 10 percent deviation should be allowed and content uniformity the content uniformity remains 85 to 115 percentage and 10 tablets are used for 10 capsules are used for content uniformity and in weight variation also 10 capsules are used but in Division, how much division is allowed in weight variation? It's 10 percentage. In case of content uniformity, 9 out of 5 capsules should be within 85 to 115 and no unit should outside the range of 70 to 125. Okay, so this is our content and after evaluation all this, counting, packaging, storage, it plays important role and very important of this recently available equipments rotofill ecofill rotovay rotoshot these are the different machines rotofills rot ecofills rotovay and rotoshot for shorting out of the capsules which are damaged and all rotovay for weighing of the capsules ecofill it is for filling of the liquids into the hard gelatin and rot echo gel again is available echo fill and echo gel if it is echo fill then it is the machine used for filling of solid and your liquids into hard gelatin and echo gel then it is for soft relating rotofill it's for filling of the pellets into the hard relating capsules it's all about capsules